Thanks so much for the likes. Thanks so much for the comments. Thanks so much for the recommendations. Thanks so much for the subscriptions. Even though you know me not from Adam, you have been a supportive fan of Niri Mister. You are joining the channel for the first time. I say a very big welcome to you. If this content add a value to you, please hit the like button, leave me a comment, hit the subscribe button, and turn on your notification bell that you may always be the first to watch videos coming from Niri Mister. Thanks a ton. You are all one in a billion to me. I love you all. Mwah. For a better understanding of today's discussion, I thought of learning objectives, which are 1. We're gonna make 4 plates of height 1 inch. Secondly, for every plate, there must be a bed that is equal in size for it to rest, for it can stand the whole day. These are the beds. And last but not the least, the bed at the center must be twice the size of a plate. That is, plates at each side of it can rest at the same time without disturbing each other. With these objectives, I believe we are good to go. First, I drew a straight line at 3 inch distance away from the hedge. In order to make a pleat of height 1 inch, we are to draw a straight line at an interval twice its size, that is 2 inch. This interval, we are gonna divide into halves to form a pleat. So this is for a plate. Remember our learning objective, the second one. It says, for every plate, there must be a bed that is equal in size for it to rest, for it can stand the whole day. So we are going to draw another line at an interval of one inch, which is the height of our plate. Now we have a pleat and a bed. So we are going to draw the next pleat at interval of 2 inch. So from this point, we'll move to the third rule about the bed at the center that it should be twice the size of the pleat so that pleats on the inside of it can rest at the same time without bothering each other. You remember? So that's what happened here. Then to the next pleat then to a bed, then another pleat. So we then have four pleats. So let's check if we have truly obeyed the learning objectives. A pleat, a bed, a pleat, bed at the center, pleat, bed and pleat. So we have four pleats. So we've obeyed the objectives. So for the pleat intervals, we start bisecting, that is, we start dividing them into halves. Maybe you want to say two beds are missing here for we have four plates but we only mentioned two beds aside the one at the center as you can see here the plate we just made is resting already on a bed based on the direction it faced the immediate interval from the just made plate is a bed so we are not going to bisect it so we move to the next interval in order not to lose the nice work done on this plate, let's lace it with emmy gum so it remain in position while we do the next.
so we're gonna do the same thing to the next interval as you can see it's resting on the bed the next interval look like that of a pleat but it is not it is the bed at the center which is twice the size of the pleat now all objectives are fulfilled four plates all resting on a bed and at the center is a bed that is twice the size of a plate that is wide enough to accommodate two plates at the same time Let's cut out the excess and cover with an interfacing ST. Ensure that the feasible material that is your interfacing comes completely to this design. Ensure it gums completely. And I believe you understand why I'm using cover cloth. I've mentioned it countless of time on this channel that it is not done. You iron your material without a cover cloth it's not okay to place your iron directly on your fabric let's fold the ends let there be space of one inch So I'm going to do to the other side of it and one of the vertical ends and also lace it with emmy gum. Now I'm going to iron out the midpoint. Now we are going to lay it on our front piece. First, gum it to the material at the center with Emmy gum. Please hit the like and subscribe button if the content has been amazing so far. Now list the sides with hemi gum.
iron it at the back too. Let's trim out the neck. Now we are going to stitch the side of the design. You can check for link in the description box below for how to make a bias neckline and a zipper. Now watch closely what we're gonna do to the plates. Please follow me for more interesting tutorials like this. Hit the like button if the video added value to you. Leave me a comment. Hit also the subscribe button if you have one and turn on your notification bell that you may always be the first to watch videos coming from Little Mister. Follow me on Facebook at Nidu Mister, on Instagram at Nidu underscore Mister. Is there any idea you would like us to discuss? Please tell me in the comment section and we're gonna talk it out and bring to the channel if you want. Now we're going to measure for the center by measuring from the end of our design to the neckline. So the total length is 16, so the half is 8. So I'll mark there and put a straight stitch there. Thank you.